Hi guys, so I just wanted to tell this quick story time of probably why I should really start driving soon because the, the, the bus just gets scarier almost every time I take the bus. Not really, but there's times where it's like, mm, yeah, I should probably not do this anymore. Hi, if you don't know who I am, I'm Sarah. I'm black. I was literally about to say I'm 99% black, but I'm actually 73% black. Yeah, I just remember like all the time I would say, yeah, I'm 99% black most probably. Mm. But I recently found out exactly like my percentages or whatever. So I mean, if you haven't seen that video, my mom's in the video. But if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and you know, click it. Also, I guess if the more people, more people watch it, then there's more chances I could convince her to be in more videos. So I mean, go watch it, leave a like, comment also. <laughs> Once again, hi, I'm Black Sarah. What's up? I was, you know, minding my merry black business. I left Family Dollar and I got there on the bus, but then I obviously left so I could go back on the bus. I got to the bus stop and the bus was coming and it stopped there at the bus stop and I was ready to get on. Here's a problem. I could not find my bus pass. I got so scared. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Cause I don't like to be that person that like gets on the bus and then like the bus driver like stops the bus until I actually pay to get on to like go sit down or whatever. And then like people just sitting there waiting like, oh my God, what's going on? So I don't like being that person. And I also don't like being that one unlucky person where the bus driver will not stop. They will keep moving the bus. And then I'm just like looking for my stuff, whatever. I could not find it. She told me to get on and I just told her to go. So then um, she closed the door and then I'm like looking for my um, bus pass. And then I actually feel it in my pocket and she's still sitting there, but she was basically waiting for, I think, cars to move. And I didn't open my mouth and be like, oh my God, let me on the bus. I basically just let her go and I sat there and I waited for the next bus. No big deal. Across the street, this homeless man, this homeless white guy, he is screaming, saying all kinds of other stuff. What does he say? I have no idea. It looked like he was yelling at someone, but there was no one there. So I'm like, okay. So I'm just sitting there and then he starts crossing the street to get on the same street, same sidewalk I was on. I'm like, oh no, where are my earbuds? But the thing is I have my earbuds, but like the little soft cushiony things that go on the earbuds. <laughs> Tell me why I lost them in Family Dollar. Oh my God. I have to get new ones. I'm so upset. And y'all know how uncomfortable it is to put any earbuds when you don't have those cushiony things in. It feels like literally things are just stabbing you in the ears. And it is, <laughs> I just put them on because I just, just, just uh. then he gets on the same street as I am, of course. And then he um, sits at he sits at the bus stop on the bench because there was a bench and I was sitting on the bench whatever and then he's yelling and talking or whatever and I have my earbuds in but I still hear everything that he's saying I see the bus coming so the bus is at a red light I see the bus coming so I obviously naturally get up oh my gosh my hair what happened so I get up obviously to you know show that I'm like I'm ready to get on this bus or whatever but when I get up once again I still have my earbuds in but I still hear the guy he gets up and he turns around facing me he's yelling i don't know if he was talking exactly to me or if he was talking to whatever person is in his imaginary head but he says come fight me inward i'm literally just standing there and i'm just like am i really gonna have to fight a homeless person today Am I really going to have to fight an old white homeless person today? I don't say anything because I'm trying to give the illusion of I don't hear anything. So then the bus driver comes, I get on, I have my bus pass ready, and then I tell the bus driver hi because I'm a nice person and tap my card and I go and I sit down. And then I did not know that the guy was going to get on the bus until I got on the bus and I heard him talking very loud. I'm like, okay, well, 
you got on the bus, that's cool, whatever. We're driving or whatever, and I still hear him talking, and then the bus driver, she stops at a bus stop, and she stopped there for a while, so I'm thinking like, oh, okay, she's probably taking a break. This is a weird spot for her to take a break though, like, but I mean, whatever. Cause uh, if you don't take public transportation or public tr transportation is different in your area, but there are some designated spots for bus drivers to take breaks just to like sit there and chill for like a few minutes. Um, because they deserve it because they go through a lot of bull. Trust me, they do. We're just in there waiting and I'm like, hmm. We've been waiting here for a very long time. Is somebody trying to get on the bus? Like, it's been about, like, I don't know, 15 minutes at this point. I'm just like, okay. And then this one guy who's kind of sitting in front of me, this white man, he gets up and then he starts basically yelling at the homeless guy. And he's like, I don't remember exactly what he said, but I just know for sure he says like, get off the fucking bus right now, blah, 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 blah. It was like, it was like a whole bunch of yelling and stuff. And then like this black guy behind me, he gets up and he starts walking and he's like, is this what we're waiting for? Are we waiting for him? Cause like the homeless guy, he was literally sitting there. Cause I was watching him. He was sitting there. He was like messing with papers. I think he was like putting newspapers like on the chair and just you know like mm -hmm. he was just doing something uh interesting i guess i don't i don't know i don't know so the white guy is really just yelling at him he's like get off the fucking bus i don't want to see you on this bus blah 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 blah. you're wasting our time blah 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 blah, blah. the homeless guy he gets his stuff and then like the black guy kind of like helps him get his stuff in a way but he's also standing there too just to make sure nothing happens and um me i'm literally thinking oh my gosh is this about to be a fight is this about to be the same thing that happened on that last bus ride because i really don't want to go through this again okay i really i really don't i really don't like i really don't after like i guess uh, like a minute or two the homeless guy he gets off the bus the the white guy that's already on the bus he's still kind of yelling at him or whatever and then the bus driver she closes the door and then she finally starts moving this whole time the bus driver hasn't said anything or she probably has it's just she was probably very soft-spoken i was just like all the way back i just couldn't hear or see anything that she said but she just didn't say anything i'm just like mm -hmm, okay um I mean, I guess it's not like people that have places to go or whatever. So then the uh, white guy, he comes back to his seat and he said, uh, <laughs> it just, it like kind of made me laugh a little bit. He's like, uh, he was like this motherfucker, this white, like those are kind of whiteies that make us look bad or something. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay uh i don't know i just thought it was like kind of funny to me he said i just remember he definitely said the word whiteies i'm i didn't it didn't come from me he definitely said the word whiteies so i'm like okay 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 somebody on the oh no the black guy he actually came back and he sat on sat back in his seat and then the black guy he um talks he yells he just says it very loud he says thank you to the uh to the white guy and he was like yeah i would have done it sooner but i thought she was taking a break i did not know that we were like waiting for you know this guy to get off the bus i would have done it sooner or whatever and um the white guy kind of looks at me and he kind of smiles and i kind of smile back i'm just like okay i mean thanks i guess whatever whatever i guess i don't know and then i'm then it, it was just normal after that i guess that's that's really the story that's it but this is like the second time I guess a fight almost broke out on the bus I mean the first time that I've witnessed it I did film the video but I had zero energy to edit the video so that I think the footage is either somewhere or it's gone but even if I edit the video I need to like refilm it because that's when I had blonde hair so it's like kind of out of date but that one is much crazier than this one and then there was also another one that happened after that one. And we sat there for a really long time and the cops were involved. The cops were involved both of those times. I might need to tell a story, like do a story time of both of those cause those both were kind of crazy. So yeah, that that's a story. I really got to start driving because 
I don't want to be there when an actual fight breaks out on the bus because I might have to be a witness and I don't I, I can't I can't take that kind of pressure y'all I, I really can't that's just I I can't do it I can't be like look I was in my own world I'm a 20 year old and I'm lost in technology I did I didn't see nothing I didn't see nothing okay I hope you guys enjoyed this story time I guess a little bit if not whatever um Zoe, why are you on my robe? Get off! Get off! I don't want her on my stuff. She's on a period. It's gross. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, leave a like. Also, comment down below your crazy bus stories because I might. I actually might do the other two now since I told this one. Also, share this video to anyone who has had a crazy bus story or thing that has happened to them. Or if you want to show someone, this is some of the crazy stuff that be happening on the bus. Um, even though this isn't one of the craziest things that's ever happened on the bus. Um, then, yeah. I guess share it also if you have not subscribed please do because we're trying to get this channel up to 500 subscribers by the end of the year and I think that would be pretty cool if we could make that happen also what's up to all the new people y'all cool y'all stayed I'm happy thank you um also if you want to check out any of my other videos you can I mean whatever just do you okay I'm gonna go now bye I can't fall back. I'm on my period as well and my stomach hurts. So yeah, bye.